Hello YouTubers. This is going to be a real paint drying situation here. I came back here to saw and here's the old fuel tank from the Detroit. And what I found is it, it is low to no fuel. Here's my old gas gauge here. A lot of people in my position know what this kind of gas gauge is. I'm hoping you're on the fill. Well, when I stuck it down at the bottom, it's only got, I don't know if you can see it, a couple inches in there. So that means I better think about getting some fuel on because I don't want to have to prime all this nonsense up. So now the next question is, do I take you along for the shaky Kubota ride down, switch over to the Bobcat, bring the tank up here. You're going to see how I actually fill up the tank. I, I, this is not something that I generally show. I don't think I've ever showed this one. And maybe because I think it's just kind of... Everybody knows how to fill a gas tank. That's why I don't. But I haven't showed mowing grass yet. And I spent most of the morning mowing grass too. So in trimming, I had a couple trees down. So we'll put you here. Then I'll come up and flip it around and see if I can't get you watching it. So you're going to see me zoom down here. Switch over to the Bobcat with the tank on it. Bring it up here to fill this up. So you're just going to have to watch for, I don't know, it might be two minutes. Might be three minutes. I'm hoping it ain't going to be over 30 minutes. So hang in there. If I knew how to zoom forward, I'd zoom forward. I keep a cover on that. What did it take? Oh, it probably took three minutes to go get that, I think. I keep a cover on that just because it's a good thing to do. I don't know. When I have fuel brought out, brought out I put it in that 300 gallon tank down there and I'll put it in this tank. The other one gets the, uh, the mobile units. This one here is just for bringing up here. I should probably leave it up here, but there's no, no good place to put it up here. So I don't. So this is the the juice. Let's see if we can find a battery. Oh man, that's cruddy. I don't even know which one's positive. It's so cruddy up. I guess that one'll work. Yeah, I guess it does work, doesn't it? Oh Lordy. Oh well. I ain't 
pretty. I'm a mess. Uh, all right, now I'm gonna stick this down in there. Pull the trigger on and let it rip. I guess I don't know if I can talk while this is going on or not. You can probably hear it. I don't see anything going in there. I wonder if I hooked up the. I probably hooked it up backwards. I've done that before. I did. Well, that was real intelligent move there, but it worked. Didn't screw the pump up. Uh, let's see if we can get get it going in the right direction. Oh, it sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. It's flowing like a big dog. All right, we're filling the tank up now. Ain't much to it. It's like going to the gas station, filling it up. It'll click off when it's at the top. I was, like I said, I was going to do a saw on one, but you can't saw. That thing don't sound too good, does it? It's not liking it. I guess it didn't like going backwards. Let me see what it's doing here. Well, it's pumping good. You couldn't ask for a better. That's a brand new pump over there too. That's kind of, maybe we can see it. See that bad boy's pumping good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Sounds like got air in it. Oh well. We'll turn it off, turn it back on. That's a that's brand new too. Guess it didn't like going backwards. I don't know, maybe there's something stuck in there. I don't have any filter on it. Anyway, we're filling her up. I've never heard it make that much goofy noise, but it's kind of sitting on the forks there. It's not on the ground, so I guess it has the ability to shift around a little bit. But there you go. Filling the old tank up. I'm filling this tank over here up. It just doesn't run on air. Oh, you know, while I'm doing that, I'll do something I haven't done in a long time. We'll see if there's any oil in it. Look at that, it's right on the F. It likes, it likes to be heavier than that. I should put some in it, but I'm kind of worrying about it. That pump kind of annoys me though. I don't know, maybe I screwed it up by going backwards. Maybe one of the um, veins in there went, went backwards. It sure doesn't. It's pumping good, I think. Maybe there's air in it. Can't see it down in there. It's pumping good though. So let it make noise as long as it's pumping good. Yep, let's see, uh, let's see. I cut grass for about three hours a day. I did weed whipping for about two hours. I, I had four trees that have come down that I, that I had to clean up. I cleaned up three of them. I have one more that I got to clean up, but I, I got it all cut up. Had to grapple on the, um, had to grapple on the, on the bobcat earlier to put all the limbs in. So I've been busy. It didn't rain today. It rained yesterday. I came out to do this yesterday and it was raining. You can see I got uh, the log already. I got, I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, six more logs to go. You're getting a little crooked because the, the tripod's messed up. So I'd like to get those cut up, stickered, and put on the pallet here. Uh oh, we're done. All right, that's enough of. Uh, that's enough loading it up. Unless you got well, well where are we at? We're at 1001. I I'll, I'll let it you can see you can see how I wrap it back up. I know this is going to be just terribly exciting, guys. 
terribly exciting. But I wrap it back up and put the lid back on it. And I don't know if it whoops gets all on hook juice. Nah, why do something smart? I don't use this except for, well, I use it every now and then for other things, but very seldom, very seldom do I use it for anything except for the sawmill. It holds 110 gallons, so I haven't put 100 in it, which is a safe fill. Then I don't have to worry about nothing. And then with the other 300 gallon tank in there, which I keep that one covered up pretty good too, the only thing I should do is, this won't go up in there, this nozzle won't go up in there, that's why I don't do that. Um, put some kind of nozzle protection so bugs can't get in there. Not, I don't know whether they get in there or not. So that goes on there. Rope pre-cut goes over there or preset. Almost preset. Doesn't have a whole lot of extra slop in it anyway. I guess you're seeing my back. There you go. Well, I'm going to take it back down. You saw me coming up, so you know where I'm going. So there ain't no point in going any further. We got fuel. I'm going to go eat dinner, and then I'm going to come back and saw a video or saw a log, put it on a video tonight. Um, I saw Mark just put one in. I, I guess I'll put this one on tomorrow night because tonight is a sawing video. So when you see this, it's after the saw on the log that I'm about ready to saw. So I'll put the saw one on. I'm getting all corn fused. Anyhow, we'll see you guys later. Over and out.